Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tegan with Solar Performance and today we're going to be installing our 70 millimeter port of throttle body for this 2016 ATSV. All right, so first things first, we're going to go back and get this negative terminal taken out on our battery so we have no power. You're going to need to get yourself a 10 mil socket and we're gonna come back to our trunk and it's super easy, very easy to access. Pull up this cover and just get our negative terminal taken out. You wanna get that nut and that washer set to the side so that you don't lose that either. All right, so I've already got our nut out and everything. So you're gonna to wanna to have to, you have to move this back and forth, kind of wiggle it to get it to come up. And once we got it coming up, we can get that terminal our connection move to the side, get it out of the way just so we don't have an intermittent connection at any point. Make sure you save all your pieces as well, get everything put to the side and we should be ready to get going to the engine. All right, so now that we got the battery disconnected, we're gonna come up front, we're gonna get our cover off. So we're gonna need a T30 bit. And this is gonna just get this one screw that we have that holds down our cover. So once we have that off, make sure you hold that. And then we're gonna come over here and take the oil cap off and get these things set to the side and we can get our cover off. All right, so now we got all, we got our oil cap off and our one screw, we can get our cover off. Once we got our cover off, we can get next to our vacuum assembly. All right, so now that we've got our cover off, we're gonna come in here and we're, we have four connectors we have to get. We have one here, one here, another one, and another one on the end. So all you have to do is you see this little metal piece, we're gonna push that in, and this should slide out just like so. Get that other one on the back, these two on the sides, and we should be all good on our connectors. And then once we have all of our connectors off, we're gonna start getting to these vacuum lines. So I know we have to get this one here, one here, and we've got a few on the back, but we'll get to that and I'll show you all exactly what we need to do. All right, so next we're gonna get to these vacuum lines that go down to the wastegate turbos. Instead of having to go down all the way to the wastegate, we're just gonna get these lines here off the nipples. And all you're gonna do is get you a pair of pliers and we are going to open these up slide those back a little bit and then get them once we have them pulled back we will get a pick tool and get these pulled off once we got these back we'll be able to go grab ourselves a pick tool all right so now that we pulled back those metal retainers we're going to grab our pick tool get that thing to fish off you might have to struggle a little bit with it and pull it and there we go, we can get that off the nipple. We'll do the same thing on this side. There we go. And then while we're at it, we're gonna come over here with our Christmas tree puller and we gotta grab these lines out. We'll pop these out, get these put to the side on both sides. Get those. And then we also need to grab this line here Get this connector out of the way as well so we could put that to the side so we'll just fish that down there get these lines out of the way and then we could start getting more of our vacuum lines so now we're going to come to our driver's side and we're going to go disconnect this line that connects to our blow off valve you're going to want to press not on the front side but you're going to want to press on the back side and that will release this hose and we can get that fished out as well then we're gonna come over here onto our, our passenger side and we're gonna disconnect this line back here. So we're gonna have to get some pliers again and disconnect this line also. So we're gonna go ahead and get this line here, pull that back. While we're at it, we're gonna go ahead and grab this line also, but we're just gonna disconnect at the blow off valve again. Connect out of the way. but we'll just keep that disconnected for now. And then we'll come back here and get our pick tool again, right back behind it right here and just press into it. And there it goes. That releases our line again. 
And now we can come and start attacking our six 10 millimeter bolts that are holding the vacuum cover on there. So we're gonna have another connector, just kind of like this one that we've been taking out from this blow off valve and the one back there. This is one that connects up to your actual intake and in the front end. So we'll press in on that, get that released and that'll free up that as well. And then we're also gonna come in here and take our trim tool and release this piece here. And after that, we can go get our, all of our 10 millimeter bolts and we should be ready to get this off. All right, so now we're gonna go grab our 10 millimeter socket and we have six 10 millimeter bolts. We have one, two, three, four, and five, six back here as well. So we'll go ahead and get those off now. And then we should be able to get our vacuum assembly up off of here. So now that we've got all of our 10 millimeter bolts undone, there's gonna be another line back here. It's gonna be exactly like all those gray push ones, just like this one here, but it's gonna be connecting right here. Push that in, get that taken out, and we can get this assembly all removed. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and get this connection right here. It's held on by a little like Christmas tree styled. We're just gonna break that loose. And there we go, and that's done now. All right, so now we're gonna come over here and there's these two units here. There's two on both sides. So we have two 10 mils. We're gonna get those undone. We'll go to the other side as well. So we're gonna completely get this disconnected off of here so that we can be able to pull off our top manifold. All right, so now we're at the top manifold. We got 14 10 mils all around casing this whole thing. So we'll go ahead and grab all these, get these loosened up. All right, so now we've got four back screws back here. These are all 10 mils as well. We got one, two, three, and four. We're gonna get those and then we'll start getting all these connections undone as well. So now we're gonna get these two connectors. We've got one here and another one here. We're gonna pull back on these white tabs I've already did. And then we'll press down and they should be able to release. So we'll press down on that black and they can release. All right, so after we've got all of our connections done back there and undone, there is a Christmas tree holding up this cable here. So we're gonna go ahead and get in between that and get that undone. And then once we have that undone, we could start getting access to getting this guy out of here. So now that we got that Christmas tree out that was mounted back here, we can get access to pulling this guy off. Might wanna be a little bit careful getting this guy out of here. But once we've got it, you can lay it back and just rest it. And now we've got access to our throttle body. Alrighty, so now that we got everything off, we're gonna put this, the top manifold off to the side. And as you can see, we've already got access to our throttle body. So we'll go ahead and get started on getting everything unplugged here and getting the throttle body taken out and putting our new one on there. All right, and all four of our, our screws on here are gonna be 10 mil socket. So we'll get all these off and then throw on our ported unit. Alrighty, so now that we got everything off, go ahead and get our throttle body off. We're gonna make sure we keep our gasket there as well. 
and we will be reusing that. So this is the difference between the OEM unit and our ported unit. You can see we actually cut off that front face shaft and install a velocity stack on these units. They, the velocity stack on its own is what makes really big of the difference on these units and the port and polish we do. So you can see there is a massive difference between the two. So we'll go ahead and get this OEM unit put to the side and we'll go put our ported unit on and get you guys some shots. For installing our throttle body, we're gonna make sure we take our metal gasket. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and match it with our ported unit so that we're not laying it on there and fighting it because I do not want that to have a bad seal on there. That is the last thing we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it all paired together so we don't have to worry about it. And then we'll get that mounted up on there. So as you can see, I got that gasket on there. It's already lined up really nice. So we'll get this rolling in. Get it set up. And I'm gonna go ahead and start threading some of these in. And there we go. That looks good. That gasket, I can see it down there is looking nice. We're gonna go ahead and get this screwed in there. I'm gonna do a cross pattern just so that we're not jacking anything up. And then I'm gonna come back with a wrench and get these tightened up by hand instead of using this machine. All right, so once we got it on there, we're just gonna come in here and just do a, pretty much a half turn as much as we can. Get these threaded on there. Make sure it seats perfectly fine. Make sure everything looks good. Get our throttle body plugged back in. Looking good. All right, so now that we got the throttle body and everything on, everything's connected for the throttle body, we're just gonna go back, do backtrack on everything we just did. So we're gonna go ahead and put our top manifold back on, plug in all of our vacuum hoses, all of our connections. So we're just gonna do a little B-roll of that showing the reinstallation. Okay, so you have also to note you have two different sized uh, bolts. These smaller ones, if you come over here, these are gonna go on your fronts in here, all lining out the outside. These long ones need to go into the center. So you have two long ones, and those two need to go back in here or you're not gonna be able to bolt this thing down properly.
All right, so now that we got everything buttoned up, all of our connections are plugged in, all of our uh, vacuum hoses are done, all that good stuff, we put our cover on, our oil cap, we're gonna go ahead, go into the car, we're gonna do our idle sequence, that's gonna be a three minute on and a three minute off, we're gonna do that three times, make sure our idle looks good, no jumpiness, and it's just gonna be set at a certain point. We're gonna be looking about 650 over the course of the three cycles, just so we can get the car to relearn that increase in airflow. Alrighty, so we're looking at our idle now. We're looking at about 650, which looks perfect right now. And this is on the first startup actually. So you can see the car is pretty cold and it's heating up pretty good, but this is our first initial start and idle is looking perfect right now. So that finishes off our LF4 throttle body install on our 16 ATSV. We are going to give big thanks to Tyler who is actually letting us use his car for this installation. We really appreciate him. And this is the full guide on how to install our throttle body on the ATSV. So drop down in the comments, ask any questions you need. Me and Lewis are going to be down in there. So any questions, we will make sure to get them answered. If you guys have any questions or concerns, give us a call or send us an email. Thank you so much.